There's a lot in morphology looking at whether or not people process the morphology of words when they're reading them or listening mm. to them. Mm. So you might take a, a word like camelus, and the only way you could understand the meaning if you hadn't heard it before is to take apart the pieces and combine their meanings and figure out that it means whatever less and whatever camel means together. But words that we hear more often, sometimes we're more likely to just store them whole. Mm. That's faster for us just cognitively to store things and access them directly. And there are a variety of factors, uh, attributes of words that kind of affect whether or not you're likely to have effects of having access to the word whole or having access to the pieces. Mm. One is whether or not it's transparent what the meaning is from the parts, right? Mm. Camelus has to be not having camels. But we do have some that aren't very transparent. Awful is a fun example mm. because it doesn't now mean full of awe. When you say mm. something's awful, it doesn't mean it fills you with awe. Mm. But that's actually where it came from was oh. this grandiose structures that were both beautiful and terrifying at mm. the same time, like big and overwhelming. So they filled you with awe because they were grandiose, but that was also a little terrifying because it made you feel small. Mm -hmm. And so it shifted meanings from making you full of awe to being terrifying and awful. Um, so it's no longer transparent that it's full of awe, but we still say it and use it all the time, but we're likely to just kind of store that separately as its mm. own whole thing. And that's how you get the meaning out of it without taking it, taking it apart. Mm. 